I have been told that the way an Eskimo will catch a wolf is to take his knife and dip it into seal's blood and raise it up and let it freeze. And do that many times. This causes a coating to form over the knife as like a popsicle. Then they will take the knife and dig a place in the snow where they know wolves will wander by. Cover it up and then form an ice uh, handle on the handle. In other words, not just have it thrown in the snow, but pour water on it and have the water freeze and holds the knife in place real strong. Then they'll just go away. A wolf will come by and will, through their sense of smell a long distance away they'll smell the seal's blood even though it's frozen. And they'll come up to it and they'll sniff it and then they'll start licking it. And as they lick it they get the taste of the blood and they get excited and they lick it some more and lick it some more and pretty soon their tongue is numb but the flavor is still there. They'll just keep going on and licking it clean and soon they'll get down to the blade and when they get to the blade they cut their tongue on the blade. But because they are numb by the the, the frozen blood they don't feel it but they do taste the warm blood and they feel the warmth of that going down. This excites them more and they go after it more and more and eventually in the morning the Eskimo will come by and pick up the carcass of the dead wolf. What has happened is is that the blood that they were eating was their own and as they kept licking the knife blade, they kept getting it deeper and deeper, and eventually they bled out their life. You are a wolf. That knife is sin.